Lounge. Welcome back to the channel. This is DJ Andy, of course, and today I'm going to be looking at Virtual DJ8 and setting up a playlist on Virtual DJ8. Now, a few years ago, I did do a, ver a version of this video for the Virtual DJ7 application, and uh, it did get hit quite a number of times on YouTube, which is over 30,000 views, I think, and uh, quite a lot of people. Like the video some of them disliked it of course because obviously it might not have been their cup of tea but quite a lot of people found it helpful for setting up a playlist uh, one of my friends on facebook did ask a while back on um, one of the groups facebook groups on how to set up a playlist on virtual dj did anybody know so i sent him the link to the video he went, oh i never knew that and uh, there, there you see how it does work for people who are complete novices at uh, the DJ business well I mean obviously back in the day when we we're using records and CDs things was a lot different and nowadays we can use com computer applications to help um, aid us in the, the DJ business and uh, it did particularly become helpful this playlist system when we was doing like pub, pubs um, and where we're dealing with a lot of people who are requesting things um, I'm sure you understand if you've ever been in that environment where you end up with somebody who just stands there for 10 minutes till you find it and uh, they're never happy and won't go away until you've done what they say and those ones that come with lists of requests and stand there as well until you find what you need for them and one of the ways of combating that is to set up a playlist and use that so that you're not having to be pressurized by people when you need to change the track because virtual dj will obviously do it for you now it isn't to replace what you would do as a dj mixing and um obviously if you you are wanting to get into that you probably need two bounces around you at, at all times to keep people away from you to concentrate on what you are doing it is very difficult though when you're on your own so obviously this playlist system does help a lot with that, it does aid and it also enables you to go to the toilet when you need to do and obviously if you go into the bar to get a drink or something sometimes the bar is really busy so you can be there for like 5-10 minutes and in that time obviously the tracks are changing over and uh, you need something just to um, transition one track into another now obviously if you were to play tracks just back to back off a CD uh, there's that um, gap between the track which needs to be removed and uh, obviously tracks are played right from the very beginning and some of them have a very long intro so this application on virtual dj 8 and 7 as it happens does actually help you with a playlist and when you're using a playlist it will help you and obviously free up some of your time as well to get on with other things and choose your tracks a little bit more because it does get completely random and can get quite busy on these busy nights when there's a pub full of people or even in a party situation they've all got different tastes they've all got different um, genres of music they'd like to hear sometimes it's not always easy to find what they need and uh, keep the, the party going as it were so anyway that's enough of me rabbit it on let's get into virtual DJ 8 <laughs> So here we go, I've opened a Virtual DJ 8. Now as you can see there's not a great deal of difference between this and Virtual DJ 7 except for they have added a little bit more to the software and application to make your job a little bit easier when you're using this kind of software. <clears throat> so as you can see I've already loaded a track in, uh, just been having a little bit of a play around with it to make sure everything's working and everything for this video so what you have on this application is like I said it's very similar to virtual DJ 7 all your tracks are listed in the left hand side which have come off the de desktop of the computer so some of these tracks that I've got on here are from parties that I've done in the past they are playlists so I keep them on file uh, for when I'm doing other events because it's quite handy to know what people like at these parties so 
So what I do is I keep them um, on the files so that I can reuse them again on, on other evenings if I need to. So what I've done is open date his music there. If I click the one above it, uh, there's the 50th from 2012. That's a long time ago. So there you can see quite a lot of tracks appear in the centre console. Now at the right hand side here you've got the side list as well. So you can remove this if you don't need it just by simply dragging it to the side and it will disappear. But then if you're using this auto mix playlist function then you'll need this in place. Now this side list isn't the playlist. This is uh, completely different. This usually would have appeared underneath this center list here, there would have been a box underneath there for you to play, uh, well not play, uh, to place tracks that you intended to play later on in the evening. So that's what that would be used for the side list. So what you need to do if you want to use the side list is basically just drag your tracks in as and when you need them. Uh, you can open up any file you want and just basically drag them in. Oh, I want this one, oh, I want that one. And as you can see they load up into the box as you're putting them in so yeah that's basically a side list now if you want to add them to the auto mix playlist then what you need to do is right click on them all and just in the list there you can use add to auto mix like that and it will go across to the auto mix section now to get to the auto mix section you need to go down to the bottom of that panel and you simply just click on auto mix there you can see the, the white box has just popped up where, where the mouse cursor is it does it again auto mix click on auto mix and there the tracks are that I've sent across now if you just want to put a, a track in there at random you can just simply drag one find one that you want say there blue monday new order there you can see it starts loading up all that's doing is checking the track that, that you're wanting to play and make sure it will play because sometimes you do get the error message come up on the decks when when that's what used to happen on virtual dj7 it never used to check check the track to see whether it would play uh, you just used to find out if it did or not so quite often you just put it into a, a deck like that and then it would just come up with an error an error message now that usually means that the track isn't being transferred from the hard drive to the virtual DJ application correctly. Um, you will probably have the track on your hard drive, but uh, the software isn't processing it across correctly. So one of the ways of combating that is to close your virtual DJ down by, uh, or should I say minimize it, and then finding the track in your folder or doing a search onto your hard drive dragging it across to virtual dj from the file and dropping it straight into the virtual dj and it usually works from that I'll, I'll show you how to do that quickly now so i have desktop music there which is probably what you can see on on there and there you see the files open so i'm just going to click go straight down to a track Nothing's going to stop us now by Starship. I'm going to just drag it down to Virtual DJ. There you can see Virtual DJ pop straight up, and there you go. I just drag it straight down to the, uh, the deck like that, and that will ensure that the track plays correctly on Virtual DJ 8. Now, getting back to what we were talking about, and that's setting up the playlist. Now, what I tend to do is pick 380s tracks, uh, 390s tracks, and then I go through the decades, but I tend to pick up on. Um, what people will more than likely remember or, or they can remember certain tracks of certain decades that was popular at the time <clears throat> so that's what I tend to do because quite often you find people uh, they're only into one artist they've got every single album by that artist and uh, they'll pick obscure tracks that nobody knows when they're asking for requests which is why it's a good idea to, to have some sort of playlist system going when you're when you're actually DJ now this is not just for DJs this is for people who are operating a playlist uh, for a DIY party for instance or even if you just went in a pub and wanted to run music through your own PA system uh, like restaurants do this as well 
Um, I have been asked by quite a few people how you, how you do the playlist on Virtual DJ. So this is the updated version. Like I said before, this is Virtual DJ 8. And uh, it has quite a lot of interesting functions on this auto mix now, um, which weren't there on Virtual DJ 8. So I'm just going to show you how to set the playlist going. So we have this playlist ready there. Abracadabra is already in the in the deck there. Like I said, all you have to do is drag and drop the track. Like so. So if I just pick that up and drag it across there, it's already there, so it doesn't need to go in. Uh, so what you need to do is go to the right hand side and you'll see auto mix options box pop up there. It's a really small dot in the corner. Click on that and uh, you have several settings there auto mix type, fade, remove intro, remove outro. That's the one I would normally use, but there's various different options there. You can go through them and try them yourself, but that one's probably the best one for doing this. Then you've got the auto mix length. I have it set at eight seconds. Again, what you need to do is go through them and try them, see which works best for you. Um, I found the eight, eight seconds works quite well. Um, you've got various other options there. You can remove the duplicates. So if you've actually put a load of tracks in there, you can just remove all the same ones. Um, if you put uh, more than one in of the same track, you can just remove them like I said. And then you've got removed already played. So that will just remove anything that's being played. And then you've got all the shuffle options, etc, etc. So getting back to what we need to do to start the playlist going is just click on start auto mix there. And there you can see in the top left hand in deck A, it's now started playing Agra, Agra, <laughs> Ab Abracadabra and a track has appeared underneath it. Now that will be living on a prayer by Bon Jovi. So what you will notice as well that there is a slider that's um, shading in the top of that track. That's how much of the track that's been played so far. At the end there is another shaded area. That is where it will fade out when it needs to. And underneath that, the shaded area and the white bit, that is the fade point for where it's going to bring it in, the, the uh, living on a prayer. Um, you'll notice that that's already come up. That didn't happen on Virtual DJ 7, by the way. This is another thing that Virtual DJ 8 has incorporated it is showing you the track as you, you hover over it with your mouse now you can pretty much click on these tracks and they will start anywhere if you click on them i mean you won't do this at a live performance but um it's a good hat here not to play around with your mouse at, at the top here if you're doing anything live because it, it will just interfere with that but yeah you could just do that and move the track anywhere you want it like so now the good thing about virtual dj8 which you couldn't do this on virtual dj7 unless you picked up like i said when you're moving it like that you used to you could do that with the track underneath but you had to pick up that slider point the point of intro and it would turn green it's a really small little slider and you could move it across there you can see the top one's doing it, but you can't do it with the bottom one on Virtual DJ. It will only do the top one. And there you can see it's moving about now. That's what happened on Virtual DJ 7 with the track underneath. So you could bring it in, but you, obviously you couldn't listen to the track. So you didn't know whereabouts it was going. So you had to kind of guess a little bit. Um, you can do that by using the wave lines because that way you know where the beats are coming in, etc, etc. Et or you could just throw it into the other deck. And you could just do it yourself, or uh, not auto mix. Obviously, mix it yourself using the beat points up, up above here where the, the mouse cursor is. There. Now that's another video beat mixing, but this again is just for playlists um, that you need to leave running for for whatever reason. Um, it is a good, like I say, it's a good idea to do this when you're dealing with a lot of people at parties and say like pubs and that, because they will just stand there until you find the track and and they'll they'll. Um, kind of distract you as well um, which is why clubs and that have bouncers around the DJ because they need to work and obviously they don't need the interference from the audience but this doesn't happen all the time when when you're just doing what I do basically anyway that's digressing from what we're doing so let's say you want to edit this track while it's there now we're about halfway through abracadabra so what you do is you right click the track underneath like so and now you can see, P 
POI editor pops straight up and now you can see the green line which is indicated by the mouse cursor there. That is telling you where the point of intro is at the moment. So let's say you want to edit that and move it. What you can do is you can press play there. Now that will play through the um, DJ controller that you might be using. And you'll be able to listen to that in the headphones to get the right place that you want to bring that track in. So let's say you found your place now. All you need to do is stop it. And you need to slide that across to where the green one is. And that will bring that in on that track. Now you've noticed, if we just move this down a little bit, that living on a prayer now, that fade point has now moved. That's because I've moved it there. So that will bring that in at that point when this is ready to fade in. So you could close that box if you want and that will stay as it is. Now that, will, that, that track will now play where I've just told it to do. So that is a very good idea. I thought that was brilliant of them to do that. Because on Virtual DJ 7, like I said, if you tried to move that slider, then it was a very small slider and quite often you'd catch the track above and it would just bring it back to the beginning like that. So when it's ready, we'll move this across now. If you, you just watch where that's going now, this will bring Living on a Prayer into the mix as they say. I should use the copyright restrictions on YouTube, it's not a good idea to use There you go, came in straight away. Okay, now, <clears throat> obviously that is just a simple way. I would encourage you to play around this as much as you like, because if we you right-click any of the tracks, there's loads of different things you can do there with it. Well, it's in situ. You do have the POI editor comes up when you right click on the auto playlist, um, but it doesn't it doesn't move um, the slider on there. You have to right click the track underneath there, so that will get you the right point that you need to be at like that. Once you've right clicked it on the track underneath while it's playing, it will bring the right box up. But if you do it from there, it doesn't work. Um, so you have to do it from when, when it's actually in the deck so that will work for you so <clears throat> that is the auto mix that is the playlist section I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel but before I go there's one other thing I just want to show you that if you slide this box across here it will give you the track information so I've highlighted Brian Adams Summer of 69 it tells me there it comes from the album so far so good its genre is rock the composer is Brian Adams Jim Valance uh, the length is one oh no that's the BPM is 138.8 the length is 3 minutes 34 seconds and it was last played in 2001 which I don't think is correct this is obviously a track that, that has come through on, on like he says come out of a different file so I have played it since then obviously but uh, he's had a play count of 8 as well so it gives you quite a bit of information there if you drag that box across that's always good when people come up to you and, and ask you um, various questions about the track because they always want to know because they haven't got a clue so there we go with virtual DJ 8 tutorials uh, we will probably do a few more on Virtual DJ 8 if I've got time, um, hopefully. And um, if you do have any questions, don't forget to put them down below in the comments section. Don't forget to click on the notification button because we'll have a few gig logs coming up in uh, the next few months or the next few years, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bounce.